Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to take a look at Assassin's Creed Revelations. Now, actually I decided to show you guys how to fix the screen stuttering and game flickering on Windows 10 as an added bonus because uh, it seems a lot of people are having this issue and despite the fact that it's uh, it's been resolved by Ubisoft to an extent where you need to do a thing, people seem to not find this solution so maybe someone stumbles upon this particular video. So before we jump into all that, uh, I'm going to show you the settings we are running on and I'm going to explain step by step what we're doing and why we're doing it. So, you know, it's not a clickbait, you know, this channel is about transparency. So graphic wise, we're running with a 4K native, no mold sampling because Ubisoft doesn't like it. Also, well, 4K. Vertical sync is off. Uh, all other settings are on their maximum values. We're maxing this game out as usual. So how it looks when the game is flickering i'm gonna show you so actually i started the new one and i got to the point where it's it really shows so because of the early stages it's very hard to say if it's the issue or not so this is how the game looks when it's flickering right so if you turn the camera or the mouse the flickering goes away but it's prominent so people at the very beginning of the game think that this is because you're missing memories or something like that. It's not. It's not nothing to do with the game progression. It's just the game engine itself. It does not understand your GPU because of Windows 10. And I'll explain that a little bit more in detail. But to be fair, it's uh, quite hard to play this game because even non-action scenes look like this. I hope you guys are not getting vertigo because, as you can see, this is th this is not playable, is it? Like. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna deal with these guys, and honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a pretty big headache just by playing this, and I can understand how you guys are just gonna be not happy about all this going all the time, right? As you can see, it's not an issue with the dropping frames or something, we're fine. So let me show you how to fix this, and then we're gonna start a brand new game, go through the actual performance and whatnot. So first step, quit the game absolutely fully, just quit it, like boom. It's out, it's, it, it's no longer there, okay? If you're running this game on Steam, steps are almost the same. All we need to do is get to the install directory of the game. For Ubisoft Disconnect users, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Ubisoft Connect users, you just go to the game properties and open the folder where the game is installed. Once you do this, you have to look for system de detection file. So you see this file, system detection DLL, without anything at the end so there's two ones so system detection zero and system detection so this is the master file technically or the main file what you have to do is quite literally rename it to anything else but this i usually do zero one two three four five or whatever you want to do you can put a word in it like broken or whatnot right so you do this no need to save refresh close so the reason why this is happening this particular file is responsible for reading your hardware's data and optimizing the game for you. So, so basically, it's kind of like what the modern games does now. They read your hardware spec and they go like, oh, based on these specs, these are the settings that will give you the best performance. The problem is, in Windows 10, the system detection tool does not exactly work. So it kind of tries to do it and it fails, obviously. So let's re relaunch the game after changing this uh, file name and you will see how the performance is finally fixed and I know that this fix is floating around on some forums but people apparently don't know it so here you go just an explanation and show and tell and now I can finally do the regular stuff which is uh, hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're taking a look at fixed Assassin's Creed Revelations which is one of the good old games and Let's just double check all the stuff. So we're going with a 4K native, no mold sampling, no vertical sync, environmental quality and 6, 3, 3, which is the maximum values. And that's pretty much all there is. So when it comes to this game, it's actually a pretty nice and refreshing title in comparison to anything else in between. So I'm going to delete my save file. Let's start a new game. MSI Afterburner running on upper left. And let's jump in. We can keep him like this for a few days, maybe a week. Call ahead. Tell him we're on our way. As soon as we're clear. 
Desmond Miles. Your life has changed so much in so little time. Two months ago, you were pouring shots for bankers and celebrities. But now look at you. You're an assassin. One of us. One of the good guys. Isn't that nice? Men and women dedicated to protecting and preserving human life and liberty. Not like those Templars. Cold and calculating autocrats, drunk on power, obsessed with order, all that. We're doing our best to stop them. <laughs> yeah. Doing our best. <laughs> but you remember all this, right? You remember the Animus, the machine we use to unravel genetic memories and relive the lives of our ancestors? First, you were Altair, a stoic 12th century assassin from the Holy Land. Then, you were Ezio Auditore, a wealthy Italian with charisma and a talent for revenge. So, what do you three have in common? That's right, the Apple of Eden. <laughs> That strange artifact left behind by those people. The ones who came before. You know the apple's power. You felt it for yourself. <laughs> oh, it's been fun, hasn't it, Desmond? But that's about to change. Your mind is fragmented, falling to pieces. And if you don't find a way to wake up, you may lose yourself forever. <laughs> Okay, I shut down the Animus monitoring system to free up a lot of memory, but even like this, it's still risky. Desmond will be fine. The partition worked, the Animus is stable, and his signs are good. For now. But this was built to recreate memories, not simulate entire cognitive processes. The Animus will do its part, and Desmond will do the rest. What's happening? I, I can't move. I, I can't. No. Hello? You guys can just imagine how this level looks when the game is flickering. Trust me, you don't want to see that. But it does look nice though. Just walk right past me. 16? No, they didn't tell you my name. God damn it, I'm still in the Animus? Quite a shock you suffered out there. Rebecca! Get me out of here! They can't help you, Desmond. You're a broken man. Your mind, it's... broken. Broken? I feel fine. So did I. Hey! <laughs> and look at me now! Let's talk, buddy. Walk with me. What is this place? It's nice, isn't it? We're in the guts of the Animus. The original test program. No memories here, just basic physics, weather simulations. Hello, world. You're lucky someone up there had the sense to plug you in here. It saved your life. Saves it from what? Right now, you should be sitting in a hospital ward, drooling and chewing on your tongue. For now, the Animus is keeping you intact. Keeping all your ancestors from collapsing into one big mess. But if you can't find a sync nexus, all those personalities will smash together. And that won't be pretty. A sync nexus? I'm getting there, hold on. There. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. Here's the problem. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? You claw your way back into the stored data, you find unfinished memories, and you crack them open. Finish what you started, until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. 
That is a sync nexus. And when you find it, the Animus can separate Desmond from Ezio and Altair and send you home. Back to your body. How do you know all this? Because it happened to me. But my body... It's worm food now. So I'm stuck here. A, a word of warning? When you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels... normal. But you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. What? Ah! Oh. I thought you knew. Lucy. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was that voice. Juno. She took hold of me. She made me. What am I doing? What have I done? Nice. Claudia, my dearest sister. I have been in Acre a week now, safe and in high spirits, but prepared for the worst. The men and women who have fed and sheltered me here also give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. What this could mean, I dread to guess. When I first set out from Roma ten months ago, I did so with a single purpose. ...to discover what our father did not. In a letter written the year before my birth... ...he makes mention of a library hidden beneath the stones of Masyaf Castle. A sanctum full of invaluable wisdom. So what will I find when I arrive there? Who will greet me? A host of eager Templars, as I fear most strongly. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. Masyaf has not been home to the Assassins for almost 300 years now. Can we still claim it for our own? Are we welcome there? Ah, uh, I am wary of this fight, Claudia. Not because I am tired, but because our struggle seems to move in one direction only. Towards chaos. Today, I have more questions than answers. This is why I've come so far. To find clarity. To find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair. So that I may better understand the purpose of our fight. And my place in it. Should anything happen to me, Claudia? Should my skills fail me? Or my ambition lead me astray? Do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory, but fight to continue the search for truth, so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands, and the world will not suffer if it ends too soon.
Hit him, you fools! Kill that bastard! You got the scared! Look there. everywhere! Kill him! Top to bottom! I want him dead! I mean, the performance is actually way better than I remember. Specifically without the flickering. But to be fair, um, back in the day I never actually saw this flickering uh, while playing this game on Windows XP, to be fair. Maybe it was 7. Don't remember. Never had this issue, but only since Windows 10 that it started plagued us. But look at this now. Even for the age of this game, it still looks good. As you can see, combat is also easier when you actually see who you are hitting. So when it comes to the tutorials, well, come on. This is this is a pretty nice way of doing a tutorial, to be fair. You know, you're chasing a ghost. Alter here is such a show sometimes. Stop him! There he is! <coughs> Napari! <coughs> I'm losing! 
Be merciful, please. I am a working man with a family. Doing what kind of work? Digging mostly. It took me a year to find this chamber. And for the past three months I've been trying to break through this door. You've not made much progress. I have not made a dent. This stone is harder than steel. I doubt you will. This door is guarding objects more valuable than all the gold in the world. Oh, do you mean gemstones? There are keyholes here. Where are the keys? These Templars found one beneath the Ottoman Sultan's palace. As for the others, I suppose the little book will tell them. What book? A journal of some kind. That ugly captain, he carries it with him wherever he goes. Go home. Find work with honest men. Oh, I would love to leave this place. But these men, they will murder me if I try. Pack your tools. Well, and here you go. This is the Assassin's Creed Revelations, which I would say is in a pack of must-be-played games. So we're talking Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and Revelations. After that, well, you know, pick your poison. Black Flag, definitely. Maybe Assassin's Creed 3, who knows? Maybe your poison is Origins or Valhalla. Nobody knows. But at this point, I'm gonna bid you all farewell. I hope you learned something new, I hope this fix will help those that are having the same flickery, stuttery stuff. And for everyone else, have a wonderful weekend, wonderful life, and I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.